Hello, and welcome back to some more Against the Storm. We've got resources. Let's buy ourselves some upgrades. So this looks to be a very good ability. We can get there right now by essentially going up here. This will just allow longer in the hearth. Um, increasing double. Central Blueprints Foxing Houses. Getting up to another cornerstone choice would be great. Adding timed. Walking speed plus one embarkation points, great. Another plus one embarkation. Let's see, more trade offers. More of that, more trade limits, special discounts. Ooh, permanent, permanent 10% reduction. That's also good. But when you have lizards getting 10 tools immediately, that can be so strong. Discount on the prices are pretty decent. Um, trade routes. All traders have. That, that can be good. Okay, let's start there. Opening the first Dawn Company can also be interesting. 10% discount is strong. You know what? I'm just going to start opening up the Lizards. That's kind of the plan there. We're kind of behind on that. That'll also make what I burn last longer. Now, if we go here... Um, we basically start the game here without food. All your caravans will get another 20. We're kind of... Our cycles aren't, we don't have long cycles at this moment, so I'm not necessarily seeing that as a good, let's see here, we could go for another Scarlet Orchard, we do kind of want to push out towards that, this I think will get us actually close. So I do want to get in the way of getting close there. Do I want all foxes? No, I don't think I do. Um, I do think I'll bring along some more people. Um, okay, so we're going to have extra planks. I do like that. I do like that. Let's see. Maybe some extra meat. That feels, that feels good. Okay, so let's go ahead and embark. We're going to have lots of wood this run, so fuel should be fine. We're in the Royal Woodlands, we're going to have beavers. Wood is not going to be our main issue. Especially if I can, like, trade away planks. So we'll need to see here. Okay, what of our things? Gathering speed is decreased. Recipes, producing building materials, ew. Consuming twice the amount of services, 10% for each hostility level. Um if we have so we have to use services oh man that's a hostility level four is going to be a bunch of a pain now the good news here is that we start immediately with that there do i have a small farm but I, no um ooh. I'm, I'm now debating because this crystallized two gives tools, but no, I think the berries are going to be great. Um, tools, we don't necessarily have anything with that. I am always about the planks. That can produce flowers, but we're not there yet. 
a weaver. You can use berries if we get berries. So we could have a berry kind of thing. Fabric being better. Trade goods. A nice fabric producer could be nice. Not sure. Tea uses some water. Oh, you need to grow some of that. Tea is pain. Incense, again, a pain. <coughs> Biscuits could be nice. Um, no, I don't need to make this last choice yet. What I need, you know, is rotate, rotate. And I'm actually going to try to get that online first, real quickly. And if I can just be like with you, grow me a bunch of berries. And get that assigned quickly. I think that'll be good. So because I did that, um, lumber mill. I'm gonna go with a little bit of a different play. I don't know if I'm gonna go for a second lumber mill early or a second. I may do one woodcutters camp early. Just put that there. Okay. Quickly throw on two humans. Okay, so beaver makes things burn longer. Hostility from each open glade. That's not necessarily what we need now. We'll have citadel patients growing slower. Okay, also what we need at this moment is a harvester's camp. Let's get that underway. Then, you know, we'll start putting this in. And with this, we're going to go triple beaver. And I'm going to go ahead and say that you all can chop through to that. Let's see what cornerstone do we get. Plus packs. I don't know. Oh, that's trees, conditions. <coughs> I want to see if there's... When we get our first orders, is there something? Because our orders will come in. There we go. Let's see. Value of goods sold, delivery amber. We need a geyser pump. I feel like this. Deliver at least eight amber worth of traders. Human and beaver, discover two glades. Rebuild a ruin. I need flour for that to work, so I don't know if that's going to work yet. It's good. Okay. This I'm going to get. So I need to install that back. Okay. Now doing all that, I'm going to do a quick reroll here. So for every hearth level gain. So we want to start gaining hearth levels pretty quickly. Um, 
won't satisfy the need for species specific housing. I mean, I could build some beaver housing right now. I'm tempted to go ahead and do so. Villagers moving faster is not a bad thing. Huh. Being able to produce trade goods, also not a bad thing. Being able to efficiently make cloth. I would also not put as bad. Right. Okay. And maybe industry wise. We somehow, okay, we've lost some planks from our max. But I do want to go ahead and get this upgraded. Box houses we can't do. We do one human house, but that's not going to. Go ahead and do that. Okay. About to cut through to some glades. Oh, very good. Some humans coming along. There we go. City buildings. Let's just put those down for now. Oh, there is a traitor. Lowers hostility by 50. We need 22 amber to do that. I mean, it had to give up parts, which are hugely expensive. Lowering hostility, though, is huge. I am tempted to throw that there. Any parts I can essentially let's 
save. Expensive. I think worthwhile. Okay. You will disappear. Actually, what two of those planks? And I th think cloth. Okay. Let's go to industry. And let's have them chop out here just a little bit. Yes. The fact that our hostility. Okay. Let's go here. Lumber mill. We do need to get that lumber mill up and built. And away it goes. Okay. That'll make us far more successful. So we're going to go here. We're going to put a limit of 100. And away you go. You're having a bunch of produced goods. Let's see. Gonna need another wood cutters. Definitely gonna need a stone cutters camp. It's gonna be like one of the permanent camps we need. And we're going to need I think a trapper's camp. It'd be good to go ahead and get that operating. But we've, uh, we're keeping things down. We're keeping things simple. Go ahead and start collecting. Very soon this will be done with. About to run through the storm. As we get through the storm. Necessarily put a trade post there. Okay. Um, crowded houses is a solid, solid bonus. And given that, you'll all be bringing more. 
I want more there. Okay. Let's go camps. Let's go lumber. Rotate, rotate. Harvester camp has no one nearby. Away that goes. Okay. And we can welcome new people or we can send to the Citadel. I think we're gonna quickly send that to the Citadel because that 10 will unlock that, which will give us two people anyway. What do we have here? We have the small farm. Okay. We have all we need to do a farming village. It has happened. It is magical. There we go, bring it in. What do we have here? Deliver 50 roots. Flour and oil. Beavers, planks, ale. I don't necessarily have roots. I hope to mill flour. And what do I need here? Hat crops. Trade goods, human resolve, and are definitely going to do that. Okay, so that was a bunch of foxes we got. Not necessarily what I wanted, but I'll take it. There are some roots there. I think we'll need to put a small foragers camp there. Okay. Got that. The weaver. Because we're trying to cut out some space here. Let's see if we can just cut that out real quickly. And let's see, we are going to replace you, you should be good at getting that done. We're harvesting lots of berries, getting extra berry production. We've got essentially a solid economic base. And now that I come here to the small farm. This is going to make it so we're just, we're, we're perfectly fine. This is the beginnings or, you know, it can give me the rain mill I need as well. Okay. Those are the basic buildings. We've got the economy. At this point. Everything we need exists. It is a matter of essentially chopping it out 
and I would do a weaver right there. Now there, we're going to have some issues with some bricks, but we should be fine. We don't need to create weapons. We don't necessarily need to create training goods, but we do need to create that. Let's go up to a supply of 50. We do want to start making cloth. So we'll efficiently make us cloth. Keep us a good supply. All right. We'll get this over here. Okay, we need to look into getting fox houses. Fox houses are going to be insane. Human houses are doable. Getting a trader built also be good. Let's make sure to get rid of that. All right. There's that. There's the human. Two. You need to be going there. Where's the other human? That's a beaver. Oh, oh. Human keeping the fire going. We'll need to take more humans in now. We do have a human crunch. Um, we'll take sale of the secret coat book because we can take the free jerky. Does anyone eat it? Oh, no. Well, it'd still be something that we... Okay. Newcomers... More beavers are actually going to free up more humans. So. And it does this in a roundabout way. First thing, you all are replaced with beavers. Which lets us replace a fox. Which lets us do that. Okay. I want to go ahead and get this taken. down there. Okay. This is good. Let's keep working at it. Let's see. Human house. Rotate, rotate. How are you doing? Okay. You need to do an upgrade, so... Oh, maybe I'll put the trade thing here and I'll just put... Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's put some barrels. Go right here, put the trading post, rotate, rotate. Perfect. Come here. Yes, that should do it.
Gonna need some more bricks. There we go, that should get more people housed. We'll do that. Continue with that for the moment. Everything is looking a okay. Things are getting constructed. How are things going? We need to rebuild. Okay. Herb garden would be nice. Harvesting is faster. That is actually super useful. We'll trade away that. Um. Trade away berries. Do fewer berries till we got four. Trade or make harvesting faster. There we go. That's very important in the farming community. Next thing we need to do is we do need to recognize that this mill is going to be a part of what we do. Um, parts fulfill the need for leisure. Probably doable. I'm growing. Monastery and incense. Okay. There we go. That is upgraded. Things are getting better. All right, and that should ensure everyone is housed, because you through there, you there, you there. Okay. Plenty of room. Boxes don't have great housing at the moment, but they do have acceptable housing, and I'll take it. All right, we need to construct a rune. Trying to get them up here. So they need to hold that for 30 seconds. Perfect. I should be able to hold that for 30 seconds. As soon as this is done, we can get this space back. Essentially, I think we can cut through here. That. We can do that. And take off favoring. 
just a little something we can do. We now have pies that'll make people happier. Fuel wise, we're doing great. Cutting through. Do I want to cut through there? I think given where things are, I'd rather cut through on this end. So to that, I go ahead and say cut through there. Do a little bit of a cut through here. Then I'm going to really focus the cutting through. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I will. Okay. That is clearance water. Well, forager camp complete. We'll be able to go there. And let's see. There is a geyser pump right there. Keep going for that. Let's see what you have. Uh, lots of humans. I need the bricks. Bricks are actually what's needed. And... I build two human houses right there. That should be that problem solved. It should also I'll put the mill right there next to that. Is the game just loving me right now? Because bakery, which will make me biscuits and make me pie. Like I can make that with berries and that. The bakery, do I need pie? I do need pie and I do need biscuits. Okay, the bakery is the plan. That uses drizzle water. But we are going to go ahead and do that. Do that. Do that. All right. We need to get prepared. You kind of cleared out this area. Come over here. Okay, we've delivered on that. You. Not so much on the building materials, but definitely on that. Please go ahead and make me a bunch of flour. Then here, I'm going to do this. We're going to... Use berries. Um, limit 100, limit 50. Biscuits get higher priority. Yes, we are waiting for flour to be produced. We are going to connect pipes and um, there we go. We're going to do one automaton. All right, what's here?
So if we arrest, well, there's no choose to loyalty options while working on the event. We can do we can deal with that. That we'll probably end up sending to the Citadel. You're all working on that. Oh, more stuff there. What's this? Scribe tablet. Go. All right. Good news is that likely goes there. That should go there. And come like that. Okay. I think we'll do that and we'll make a limit of 20 on that. You do have the authority to turn some flower in for trade. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see. That is 36. We're going to go there, figure out how can I afford 36? It's not going to be cheap. I can throw an enormous amount of wood at the problem. I can throw these reeds at the problem. I can throw this resin at the problem. I can throw a massive amount of berries at the problem. I can throw some clay at the Anything that I can get back. Get back some wood. I can. I'd like to. Yeah, taking back berry. One berry. More farming. More food production. That is huge. That'll make life infinitely better. And, and that's where I think we'll call this first episode. I want to say thank you very much for joining me and be seeing you.